Last month, I facilitated a strategy session with one of my clients. The team was considering how they needed to transform their business model, and they were wondering, did the source of their competitive advantage change? Did they need to consider new investments in the customer experience like they haven't done before? And then, like many executive team meetings, debate broke out. At the heart of the debate was really a question on what was needed to be done to improve customer acquisition and retention. And when I asked what the research said about what the customers wanted and what was causing the recent challenges with getting new customers and keeping the existing ones, the room fell silent. Finally, one brave leader admitted they didn't know. They didn't have that insight. I'm Betsy Jordan, and I've facilitated hundreds of work sessions just like this one. And what I discovered is that equally informed people seldom disagree. Most companies have a lot of demographic data on their customers and employees. And in fact, the executive team I was just talking about had a ton of customer research and employee research. But what was missing with my clients that even though they had the survey data is they didn't have the insight into the areas of the heart. They didn't really know what were the motivations that drove the actions of their customers and employees. So I love this type of research because I love how it teases out those irrational elements that individuals use to make decisions. Decisions such as, why do customers buy? What drives their loyalty? What motivates employees to perform at their best? And what makes them want to go the extra mile? When executive teams are armed with this type of insight, they make better decisions. They know exactly what they need to do to improve leadership effectiveness, employee performance, and customer satisfaction, and ultimately business results.